Hi guys, I'm back with a new video. Now I found one more particular stock that I'm going to recommend to you. This particular stock is again on the same lines that uh, the company is one of a kind. There is no one giving it a competition. So this time I'm going to talk about this particular stock, Coal India. It's not a new company, it's very old, it's a brand in itself. The reason being that I've selected this particular stock once again for long term portfolio is that uh, there is no competition to this particular company. Coal India is basically uh, having this uh, land uh, uh, coal mines and uh, this is a totally government uh, company. So the stability is as long as the Indian government is there. There is no mutiny, this company is going to run. The major factor once again I am highlighting that there are no other coal miners in the country. All the mines belong to this particular company which is working under the guidelines and directions of the Indian government. So this is a very stable company. Uh, if we talk about the fundamentals, let us just do, do our procedures. We go to browser, go to screener.com, we go to coal India. See anyways I am just checking the fundamentals for the sake of doing fundamentals otherwise this particular company has been in nifty 50 for so long and uh, the best thing that we all know about this particular company is the dividend. It gives huge amount of dividend every year I mean if 5 years back somebody would have bought it okay let us just go by the facts how much dividend it has gone that will itself uh, tell us the story. First of all if we check the rate see it has made a high of approximately 425 that was in 2014 and since then it has made a low of approximately 275 and it is once again in the same price band so that's not a problem that's not a problem because we see that previously it was 225 and made a jump to 425 so see the number of uh, benefits pros that company is virtually debt free for a uh, government company to be debt free is a big thing that they are not taking too many loans they don't have to uh, repay money all they have is good amount of uh, cash in hand and everything that is why the dividend is good. Stock is providing a good dividend yield of 9.95 which is more than again the bank FD annually. Company has a good return on equity track record 3 years. Okay, So company has been maintaining a healthy dividend payout of 112%. Okay, Only two cons that company has delivered a poor growth. So that is because it is a government company it is more supposed to be growing slowly but consistently. You don't expect downfalls in a good uh, company. So they are growing slowly but they are growing. They are not falling down. Okay. And earnings include other income of so and so. So no problem. Even though, even though the earnings include 5000 we have to look at the market cap. You look at the market cap. I mean it is uh, 1,73,900 something. So it's huge. So just 5000 crores coming in from other income is not a problem. So they are basically getting their income from whatever sales of coal and everything mines. Now if we do the peer comparison like similar companies that are doing probably the similar things. You first of all look at the PE that uh, there are four other small companies that are virtually on the uh, on the verge of extinction that is Alpha, High Tech, J Energy, Foundry Fuel and Exotic Coal. So basically Coal India has beaten all these uh, other companies and that is why this particular company is having the monopoly now. If you consider the other companies that is GMDC it is having PE of 13 point something and Cabra Commercial a very penny stock of only 13 rupees market price and having PE 4.49 so that is something innumerable we don't even have to check. Other than that you compare the market cap the other company GMDC is having the market cap lesser than the other income of Coal India that was approximately 5000. So this is again a very small size company compared to Coal India. So the market cap says everything that this particular company is having the biggest hold in coal mines in our country. You compare the dividend yield that is approximately 10% the other one is 2 so that is again nothing. So since it is the single company operating in this particular section so the profit will keep on coming down keep on going up. So we don't have to be worried about that. All we have to see is that this particular company is consistent and the dividend yield is very high. Now you see the sales it must be fluctuating. See 20, 18, 16, 18, 21, 19, 17, 19, 
2020 16 so that is again not a cause because it is maintaining okay so now if we compare this particular thing uh, the profit before tax from 2014 so it is in positive it is fluctuating again no problem I'll tell you the basic reason why the profit fluctuates so much that sometimes it is 3000 sometimes it is 5000 6000 now that is because see every quarter the consumption of coal changes in summers you need more electricity and uh, we have so many thermal power plants in India still operating on coal so when summers are approaching the demand for coal uh, increases okay so but supply is like practically almost constant so the price shoots up and the profits increase in winter we don't need too much of coal we don't so because we don't need too much of electricity so the uh, demand and supply it's a demand and supply game that is why the price is uh, very so much the profits vary so much but the company is profitable so that is not a problem being the single company it is maintaining the profits now this is like the annual results the same thing if we compare here sales will vary right but as you can see the sales are increasing see from the figure of 2006 we can see 30,000 34 40 44 50 62 68 70 74 78 76 so basically it has moved from 30,000 to 70 so that is like more than double in around 10 years okay and similarly operating profit from 7,000 2000 okay varying that was a dip in 2008 2009 so stock must have fallen then again see from 2000 it has moved to 10,000 in in just one year from 2009 to 2010 big jump then 15 18 17 17 18 14 so it's more or less like 16 17 18 15 16 uh, range right now no problem and then the net profit again it is again uh, profitable consistently so basically this stock is growing uh, it's basically multiplying your money now one more thing that we need to see is returns on equity now when we see the returns on equity if somebody would have invested their money 10 years back it has given an annual uh, I mean a return of the 34% so that is like on the current rate of FD which we compare like approximately 8 so approximately 8 then that is like almost 4 times uh, annually so this is a very good return a hefty return if I have to say now one more thing I'll show you the amount of dividend that I was talking about let's go to this particular website money control and uh, the face value of this particular stock is 10 so we start re in reverse from 2017 so this year it has uh, given the dividend of 1 rupee 18 rupees and last year 27 then 20 rupees uh, 29 rupees 4 rupees 9.7 rupees 50 paise 9.5 rupees uh, 40 paise 3.5 rupees so from 2011 only from 2011 if we add that's like more than 50 rupees so in just 6 to 7 years it has given you almost 50 to 60 rupees of dividend itself no I mean I think I can see lots of figures in 20 that is like 20 20 20 60 that is like more than 80 to 90 so if the stock is currently trading 280 and somebody would have bought it back then so it's like 90 rupees of dividend only okay so that is like more than 25 percent of uh, dividend in the value or you can say that you bought the stock at only 200 rupees but I'm quite sure that in 2011 the stock value would have been different but still uh, 80 90 rupees of dividend is like very good so this particular stock you can keep in uh, your portfolio for long term being the single company once again in the market and maintaining consistent profits no matter what the uh, value of this company remains it's a dividend paying company every year it is giving now almost like 18 to 20 rupees since past two three years so even if you maintain that and even if you have just 100 rupees this uh, you have just 100 shares this can be the next Wipro kind of story so no splits as of now no bonus as of now so this can be the next Wipro kind of story after 20-30 years you might find that 100 stocks have converted into 1000 or maybe 5000 and the value remains maybe probably same so that would be like long term investment so guys buy this particular stock for your children and forget it it will give you good amount of returns in like 20-25 years more than what you can expect from mutual fund more than what you can expect from by getting 5-10% return and doing so much of trading if you are the, that kind of person who wants to just buy and forget for long term this is again the diamond for you I hope you like it please subscribe to my channel 
share this particular stock it's no harm in sharing a good stock with others and trade curve all the best